a feeling, let me talk about it. I've been feeling different like it's someone watching. I can't play the victim, I be slipping all the time. I know I've been tripping for a while. Dodging and dodging in hell, and they must have turned. I'm done with that. I was mistaken by walking, we saying I'm turning my feet, I ain't coming back. I don't want any more problems, just wanna live for another day. It's getting old, it's getting cold. Fight for my soul, cause I want it back. Hey, now I see, I can't breathe. I can't see, this ain't me. Occupy yourself with music, uh, definitely the word, and a lot of information, especially what's going on on the earth right now. So the lineup begins tomorrow morning with Patient Saints, and we'll carry it right on to the last show, which is Wisdom Cry Without outside of Austin. Wake up to the Patient Saints, go ahead and grab your coffee. This truth is spreading across the globe. Our hidden histories alive, a deacon take us through them times. Painted black faces right now, you know it's not Jesus Christ. Raving the walls, we prophesying in the fire booth. Bringing more fire, word the deacon Malachi. You the in and in the lion's den. We got the current events, wisdom crying out at 9 o'clock. Come listen, we gon' set it off on Sundays. Check, check. Mic check, mic check. All oh, praises. Y'all All got, y'all mics are good? Mic check, mic check. Yes, sir. We're good check. to go. All oh, praise. Hey, shalom, shalom, family. Most high Christ bless you all. I'm Officer Halez. Officer Razzis. Officer Joshua. Officer Kelia. Officer Zakor. And we are 
WCO. Hey, man, we got the we got the best intro, man. I don't care what right. anybody say, bro. That's right. We got the best intro. That right. We bringing that energy, y'all. I know it's late. I know for a lot of y'all, it's late. It's Sunday, Sunday night. But guess what? Y'all still got one more round. Right. That's right. We got right. one more round with Amalek. <laughs> one more round with Esau. <laughs> We got one more round. It's the twelfth round. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna ride it out. We're gonna keep it like Bishop said, we're gonna ride this thing out to the wheels fall. That's for real. We, and we're not gonna win. We're not gonna win by decision. We're gonna we gonna TKO this yeah, thing. We're going right. for the KO. We're gonna KO, KO Esau. That's right. All praise to the most high. Uh another edition WCO. It's been a lot of great things going on in the nation. Shout out to the big wolf, Bishop Kanai. That's, that's, right. that's right. All praise to the hey, most. Shout out to the right. general, Bishop Nathaniel. Bishop Nathaniel. That's, right. that's right. Bishop Yawasop, our leadership, deacons, deacons captains, captains, all the mighty men, man. That's, that's right. That's right. Work. It was in New Orleans. Yeah, getting it in. Right. For While real. the world was in sin. While the world was in sin. That's right. Let's show them where we at right now. Let's get Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom cried out. She uttered her voice in the streets. Wisdom crieth without, and she uttereth her voice at the Barclays Center right. in New Orleans. Right. right. In all, Mexico. In Mexico. That's right. Yep. All around the world, That's wisdom right. is crying out. Read it one more time. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets. So that's what pastors don't do. Right. And you know what? We did see a pastor in Monterey, or so-called pastor. You know, he trying to, he, I guess he was teaching something spiritual. Right, right. But I really didn't know what he was teaching because he had no Bible in his hand. Right. Damn. He wasn't reading out no Bible, using no Bible. But, hey, he had the three-piece suit, though, right? He had the, the three-piece three piece suit, suit on mm -hmm. deck. Yep. He had Day that on. Boots. Yep. yep. But he wasn't speaking no oracles of God. The scripture says, if any man speak, let them speak. The oracles. I think all people think. I think all people mean that that uh that that means uh just quote verses. No, that means open up the book right. and what, read it. What do they say? Uh, Ooh. the Bible. It's in my heart. No, it's, no, in my heart. heart. No, it's, it's in my heart. heart. It's in my heart. You gotta let him use you. You gotta, you gotta let him use you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, oh, they, use that's Judah. oh, they that's told you that before. You gotta, yeah, you gotta let him use. Damn, you. that's Judah. I heard that's Judah. Nah, that's real. That's Judah. You gotta let him use you, man. You gotta let him use you. Oh man. Hey, read that one more time. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Bring it out. Wisdom quiet without. Uh-huh. She uttered her voice in the streets. She uttered her voice in the street. Keep going. She cried in the chief places of concourse. And that's where we go. We go to the chief place of concourse. We're going to crash your events, your, your, your churches, wherever we find the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans gathering together, that's where we're going to go to teach our people that's that right. you are the real Jews. Right. That's right. You are the Israelites. And also, we're not just going to go when it's a big event, like they be saying, right? Like, what was his name? Charleston White? Right. He mm. saying, oh, they just go when it's a big event. No, we in the streets 24-7, 365. That's Bring right. it out. You can find that's us in the right. streets. Bring it okay, out. so it's not just because it's Kyrie Irving. We're we going to take advantage of the situation, there but we go. in these streets 24-7, 365. You know what it is, Officer Razzis? That's heavy that you say that. I think they think we trying to we trying to do it for clout, as right, if right. as if we seek money, right. as he, as if we in it for do your homework. They gotta do their homework, man. Right, right, right. As if we're in it for the same purpose as them. Right. No, 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 no. We're not in it to gain fame and fortune and 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 money. We're not in this for that. Right. We're here to get the kingdom of God. That's We're right. here to get salvation from our enemies. That's why we do this work, okay? Because we are going to be rewarded rulership when Christ comes back. That's right. That's yeah, right. So y'all got to do y'all research, man. When y'all talking about IUIC, make sure you do your research because you're going to look crazy. All right? What you going to say, officer? I was going to say, officer, that's how you know who's of God and who's not because even other what, Israelite brothers coming against IUIC, right? Yeah. At yep. the end of the day, who's glorified the most high? It's Thank glorified, you, you right. understand? So yep. that's what we do it for. We do it to glorify the most high in this glorious gospel and that's to spread right. this gospel. You know, that's how you know who's of, of the most high and who's not. Right. Ooh. Good point, good point. Read that 22 one more time. I mean, 21. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 21. Bring it out. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. Uh -huh. In the city, she uttered her words, saying. So now it goes into repro reproof, uh, correction. It goes into turning uh, your ways back to the Most High God, 
okay? This is what it's going, it, it, it goes into, is that wisdom is the keeping of the commandments. When, when it says wisdom crieth without, what is the wisdom that we are uttering? Let's get that, Psalms 111 and 10. Psalms 111 and verse 10. And then we all get to the videos, y'all, because we got some fire content coming That's out. That's right. Right? right? Where we at? Read that. Let's go. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Read it out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You see that? Wisdom crieth out saying, hey, repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. Meaning y'all better be concerned because judgment day is coming. Ooh. You better be afraid. Christ is coming back and he will not meet thee as a man. It says, read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that's what our people are comfortable here, man. They comfortable. Football Sundays, basketball season just started. Yep. Football got, around the world is like on the, 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 the cup and yep. all that. You got Thanksgiving, Thanks Christmas. Yep. I'm telling you, our people, they love Babylon. They are asleep. And they you love see it, it wherever we go, whether, like we said, in Mexico, right? Uh, here in, in Texas, right. New Orleans, uh, New York, wherever we go, wherever our people are at. They are comfortable here in Babylon. Right. They love it here. Right. The That's why. And they know we are awakening a great giant. Yes. When yep. we are bringing out these scriptures, when we doing the fly missions, mm -hmm. you know, when we when we go into the highways and the byways, gas stations, we go into the chief place of concourse. And they know we are awakening a giant. And that giant is Jesus Christ, our governor, our savior. Right. That's, That's right. Our Jacob, president. Jacob. Yep. But hey. That's a good point, officer. Go ahead, hey, officer. Hey, officer, to your point. When you were talking about the pastor that you saw, that's why he didn't have no Bible, because our people don't know the fear of God, right. right? They don't understand. That's the wisdom, and that's the wisdom that we're bringing out. We're bringing out, showing our people why they should repent, why they should fear the most high's judgments. All the pastor does is, oh, I'm just going out here to look good, right? Because God is love, is love. He's, get, he's out there giving them lies and falsehoods. We out there giving them fear and wisdom, telling them why they should come back to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Well said. Let's uh, finish reading that, Psalms 111. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. A good understanding of the having the fear of God, you will understand the scriptures and have a better understanding of what wisdom truly is when you begin to keep the commandments of God. That's right. Finish that? That his was it? That was it on that? Yes. Well, okay. It's, it's, yes, sir. It's more. His praise endureth forever. Meaning his world is going to last forever, okay? His praise is going to endure forever. It's going to be a day where we're not going to pray. You, the people out here in the world, you ain't finna praise Christianity, Catholicism, Islam, the so-called white man, uh, the so-called Arab man. You're not going to be praising him no more. That's right. There's going to come a time where the only one that's going to be praised and glorified is going to be the most high God. That's that's right. He's going right. to shut down all these idols. All right, where we at? Let's get that video, y'all. Let's show... All brothers and sisters, what took place this past Sabbath? Bring it out in New Orleans. What we got, IT? Yeah, pull that I need, up, some, man, I need some oil. This, hey. this chair sound like a <laughs> tin man. You got the Barclays? I play that. Run that. Yeah, let's run go. that. Let's get it. Bad. It looks more like a military group than anything else, but I'll read what they have yeah, You said something about, it looked like something. An army. <laughs> what make you say that? Because look, it, it's like military. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty impressed. I heard it from about a mile away, so I had to come over. Okay. How many men? Yeah, you can see it with that one. Hood, Flatbush. There's something that was said that has never been done or seen before. Unity of our people. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. Is that right, brothers? Yeah, right. We are the Israelites, the Bible speaks of. And we will not apologize. We're going to teach this truth come hell or high water. 
Christ said the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. I want everybody to understand that. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3, the Lord said, Endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Let's hear it. Unity! 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 unity. 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 And we will not ever bow the knee or apologize. So at that, brothers, who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Well, Hey, hey, listen, listen, lady. Hey, hey, that's my bishop. Bruh. My bishop is way flyer than yours, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Hey, if that don't motivate you, man, to get in this fight, to understand what's really going on, like I said, the battle of the birthright. We at war, spiritual war, man. That's this should right. motivate you, brothers, to get off your, you know what, and do this work, man. Right. Bro, that's I'd right. be itching in my purple right. chair, like, man, I gotta, hey, I gotta hey, do something yep. after seeing that. Can I, can I get a preset real quick, officer? Yeah, yeah. Said, oh, just real quick, y'all. That was New York. Correction, that was New York. Okay, that was the one that queued up. Right. But we also got more right after that. Let's That's get that right. preset, bro. Isaiah 45 and verse 17. Because a lot of times we come in this truth, you know what I'm saying? You don't see a lot of examples, you know what I'm saying? But the whole world had their eyes on us. The whole world had their eyes on our general standing for righteousness. And he's That's watching right. righteous men come up right after him. Right. I'm, hey, I'm a, I, hey. I'm a product of my leadership. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Not, not Catholics, not the Muslims, nobody else but Israel is going to be saved by the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Read. With an everlasting salvation. And that salvation is going to be forever. This is, the, this is it, y'all. Y'all got to get on this boat. Read. Ye shall not be ashamed. Ye shall not what? Ye shall not be ashamed. Read. Nor confounded. World without end. It ain't no way you can stop this. We will never be ashamed for standing up for righteousness. Right. Charleston White, he can say what he want to say. All these naysayers can say what they want to say. You seeing the army of God rise up. That's right. This is in your face. You can't deny right. this. We ain't going to be ashamed of it, and we not going to be confounded. Thus saith the Lord. Woo! That's, That's right. right. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's that fire. Officers occur bringing that fire. That's right. Bro, it's like, it's like the glasses did something, man. I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't like but, it, sir. Huh? I don't, I don't like it, sir. The, the glasses? I, I, I don't like it, sir. Oh, I man. think that make you look more <laughs> distinguished. It does. You, know you look distinguished, distinguished right gentlemen. now, bro. You hey, if my leadership mean? like it, I can rock with it. All praises. <laughs> All, praises. <laughs> All praises. All right, so where are we at? So now what we going to do, y'all? We going to queue up the... Uh, the, the New, New Orleans, Orleans yep. New Orleans Blitz. Why pool. do you keep saying New Orleans? New Orleans. It's New Orleans, bro. No, the Nolan. Come on, man. Nolan. Nolan. Hey, hey, shout out to the uh, Nolan, Nolan, Nolan Matt, man. Awesome. That's Matt, right. Man. That's right. Captain, Captain Shim. Shim. Yep. The whole right. fam out there held it down, yeah, to man. The Warriors, Gladiators out That's there. That's right. Man. That's right. Where we at? Where we at? Information technology. Help us out. All right. Let's run that. Israelites. That's right. In the rain, man, I'm telling you. Hey, Paul, hey, go back, go back. Hey, go back, go back, go back. I want to see, I want to see what Freaky Jesus was calling for a timeout because he was getting his behind handed to him. Yep. Hey, run that back real quick. He was calling timeout. He's getting cooked, sir. He was Bro, and this Boy, run that back. You hey. see him call the timeout? <laughs> hey, hey, cooked. play that, play that. He called the timeout. Timeout. You know what? You know what? The basketball team yeah. when they down by like fifty points, 
The we, coach, everybody, like, yo, time out. out. Right. Get a break. Right. Hey, look, he said, y'all missing. This is not the play. This is not how we rehearsed you guys. Right. This, right. right. this wasn't what's supposed to happen. Oh, man. Hey, and, and this is not his first time getting his ass whooped, okay? Right. Every <laughs> time. Hey, every time every year we be every out year, there. Yeah. Right. He get whooped by the, by the Israelites. Right. Last year, Deacon Abiel uh, uh, destroyed him. Right. Now, look, this year he, he had to call timeout, man. Is that a tear? <laughs> yeah, that's a tear. Look at that. You know, <laughs> oh, that ain't the No, no, no. Hey, zoom in on that. Put it back. We still talking about the. Yeah. <laughs> they call it time hey, out. I don't want no it smoke. All they laid it down. The, de <sighs> the deacon shut him down. The brother, he, he sh man, it was bad. It was All right, bad. play on, play on. Flawless victory. Right, 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 right. Damn. Damn. Hey, oh, one hey. moment. Hey, one moment. He pointed at the camera. Next moment, he calling time out. That's hey, right. Hey, Dang. give me 1 Corinthians real quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 15 because to see the prophets out there in the rain, okay? Brothers getting rained on. Brothers uh, still teaching, bringing it out with all authority like the scripture says in Mark, right? Read, read what this, this, this is the spirit behind that. Read that, 1 Corinthians 16 and 15. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 15. Turn my mic up. I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus. That it is that it is the first fruits of Achaia. Read and on. that they have addicted themselves. They have done what? Addicted themselves. Read on. To the ministry of the saints. That's called addiction. That's called dedication. That's to right. have brothers go out there in a rain, mobilize in, 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 a, in, in, in a short time span. Go out there and blitz New Orleans. That's addiction. You gotta be addicted to this truth to do stuff like this, man. That's you gotta be right. in you. It's, it's a different spirit behind it, man. For real. Hey, get Luke 21 and verse 15 just to land back off of Officer Razzas. When you are addicted to the scriptures, guess what? These Christians are not addicted to the scriptures. Catholics are not addicted to the scriptures because they can't rightfully divide the word of truth. They can't go precept upon precept. But guess what? That's why when they go out there with their titles, I'm, I'm the Messiah. I'm here sitting on a dirty, pissy, nasty uh a uh, block here on New Orleans, and I'm 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 the Messiah. Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? What the, bruh? What? Really think about that. This man is on a dirty, nasty corner, talking about some I'm the Messiah. Read what you got. The Book of Luke, chapter twenty-one, and verse fifteen. Read it out. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. What's the Lord going to give us? Read it again. For I will give you a melt and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. You see that? So our adversaries are the Christians that don't keep the commandments. Now you can repent and become family. All you got to do is keep the commandments. You see? Same thing. Whatever uh, Catholicism, Islam... So-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, you got to come out of that foolishness right. and keep the commandments. But you're not going to be able to gainsay the prophets. You're not going to be able to speak uh, against what the Israelites are saying because we are speaking thus saith the Lord. That's why they're like, how come I can't get around these guys? Because we study. We awesome. study. And we are, uh, as you said, Razzis, addicted, yep. we are addicted to, to the, the ministry. ministry. There you go. There that's, you go. that's the reason. Because we take notes. This is, this is a school. A lot of people look at it, and they're like, uh, a church. Okay, but our church is an actual school. Right. We so. take exams. We take notes. We learn from our leadership that have been doing this for decades. <gasps> They've led by example. It's a place of learning. It's right. a, place, it's a of place of learning. learning. That's what you come here for. Exactly. Yep, get built up. And it's all leadership. The ones that labor, the ones that... The ones that make all these sacrifices, are they charging us tuition fees nope, for this no knowledge? Sir. I'm telling you, that, that information. You got, are you backed yeah. up on, on, on uh, Israelite school <laughs> loans? Huh? No? Are you backed up nah. on Israelite? Nope. No, bro. They, this 3 dollars Bro, <laughs> all, all leadership are the perfect example of unprofitable servants. Right. That's right. I'll tell you, they lead by example. They, heart, they labor, and they endure, and they, and, they, and they always in the front lines. Putting their lives on the line, making sacrifices for their nation because they love their people, man. So all, all, all the brothers that are watching that, everybody, you watch our leadership, how they're out there with boots on the ground. How are you not motivated? Right. How does that make you not, like, how do you not want to be out there? Right. Shout out to you brothers that was in formation, right. holding it down. Yep. 
Letting That's the rain, right? letting the rain run off your nose and tickle, and you couldn't, you couldn't even scratch it because Cap Shem was right in your face. Right, and you knew you not knew. to break rank. You knew you had to keep that discipline. That's right. You know, I told a brother one time, man, it was it was hot out. He had like a fly just ice skating on his eyeball. So I was like, yo, let it eat, bro. Yeah. Don't move. Don't move, bro. Let Don't it eat. move, brother. Keep that discipline, bro. I'm telling you. Brothers got little gnats. A mile away. Go inside. <laughs> hey, boy. Because that, that, that second that you move, yeah. what? Yeah. Right on your neck, bro. Right on you. But all praise to the most high. That's that discipline. Right. Enduring that, that, that builds character. That's how, like they were saying on the, on the, on the uh, video, right? That is an army. That yes. is the military of the most high yep. God. For Let's me. get that army, man. Let's get that. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and 10. And then we're going we gonna, we gonna to talk about this little freaky Jesus guy. Freezy, freaky Jesus. The book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 10. Come on. So I prophesied as he commanded me. So we, guess what? It is a commandment. It is, it is an obligation that you build yourself up. To command the people to do what? To repent. Okay? Right here, Ezekiel was saying, I prophesied as I was commanded. I'm commanded to go out to the streets right. to teach. That is, you, that is the ultimate form of showing your nation that you love them by teaching them the commandments and bringing them to repentance. <laughs> but it's a commandment that we all prophesy like Ezekiel. Read. And the breath came into them. Come on. And they lived. And stood upon their feet. And we stood upon our feet. We got up off our behinds. Come on. An exceeding great army. A what? Exceeding great army. You saw the faces. You saw the, um, you saw all the, uh, what do you call it? All the reactions from the crowd, from the people that was out there. And you know who you notice? People that you never get a reaction out of. Moab. Ishmael. They was looking and smirking. That smirk was actually fear. They was look because think about it. When we out there, we cooning and shucking and jiving and acting crazy, they look at us and they just look at these. But as soon as we get right, they're like, uh oh. They know what time it is. They know That's what time right. it is, man. Where are we at? We got the next video. Freaky Jesus. All right, real quick, give me that in Psalms 5021. Psalms 5021. Just sort of land back what you're saying, officer. These other nations, they seen the army being developed right in front of them, right? Being created right in front of them, and there's nothing they can do about it. You cannot stop this movement, right? Like uh, Christ said, why kick against the pricks? Okay, because you, you're not fighting us. You're fighting the most high. That's who Absolutely. you're truly fighting. Yeah. All right, read that for me. Psalms 50 and verse 21. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 21. Read it out. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Thou... Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. Right, come on. And but that's I, Esau. All the things, all the atrocities that Esau has done to us, and the Lord hasn't done nothing to them yet. They think that the Most High is in agreement with them. They think the Most High is for them. But watch this, read on. But I will reprove thee. He will do what? I will reprove thee. That's that destruction. That's them nukes that's coming, right? Read. And set them in order before thine eyes. And that's what you see what's going on right now. God's arm is being set right in front of their eyes, and they don't know what to do about it. They can't mm -hmm. stop it. That's right. You cannot stop this truth. What you got? Yeah, so let me uh, just uh, uh, land back off there when you said uh, they, um, the most I kept side, they all together thought that they were one as him. Give me the Jer Jeremiah 25, verse 29. Because just like you said, they, they, they think that, you know, they're getting away um, with what, what they got going on, with uh, touching the sons of God. Right, Jeremiah 25, verse 29. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 25, and verse 29. Bring it out. For lo, I began to bring evil on the city. So who is that city? The city is Jerusalem. Jerusalem was a people before it was a place. It's your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come on. Which is called by my name. Who is that? Israel. Come on. And should ye be utterly unpunished? Mosai says, are they going to be utterly unpunished? No. Hell no. If he brought those curses on us, what do you think the Mosai is going to do to you? Read the book of Obadiah. You're going to find out. Finish Ooh, it out. Uh-oh. <laughs> ye shall not be unpunished. The most I said, hell no. Right. You shall not be unpunished. Thank you. You understand? Right. All praises. So That's if it, the Lord did what he did to us, there ain't no way that they going to get away with it. They think Come they on, slipping man. through the cracks now. That's what it is. That's a, that's a heavy script right there. 
All right, what we got queued up? What we got? There it is. All praises. So the Freaky Jesus video from the Bayou Classic. Let's play that, Ati. Hey, Everybody say they ears are not ears. Don't say that. I asked you a question. We know you don't care because you keep doing, you keep living in your iniquity. You keep living in your iniquity. Okay. Why are you still here? She's shaking her head. Now wait, now make a TikTok after this. Y'all don't have a following. So you're trying your best. So hello. Right, right. They got our disclaimer on their website. They got our disclaimer on their website. On their on their website, they got IUIC disclaimer on there. They got our disclaimer on their website. Oh. Hey, 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 don't do that no more. Don't do that no more. Y'all look like little children going to talk. Hey, pause, pause. Do it again. That's right. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, shame. Hey, you heard he was cut, though. Yeah, he was cut. He was cut. Yeah, no comeback. Hey, hey, I think they going to run out of timeouts. They run out of timeouts. Y'all down to one timeout. One more timeout. After that, it's a technical, fam. After that, you running out. All right, so all yeah, our leadership was getting it, man. Yeah, this guy, freaky, in, for real. This guy, freaky Jesus, really think he's somebody. Like he needs to repent. That's still our brother. He need to repent. Right. But man, that's that's definitely he's in a bugged out mind right hey, now. Hey, officer, I was out there. He said that he learned that he was an Israelite from us. There you go. Yeah. They know. He began he torn knows. up every year. Every year he getting torn up. Like yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> every time we slide through, right? You I think get, he likes it. Yeah, he's, man. He's in man, he kicking stuff. against the pricks. What he yeah. doing? Right. You understand? Like the attention. You know what's crazy is as 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 ridiculous as it sounds, there's people on that strip that believe they believe him. That's crazy. They believe him. This dude actually has a following. That, huh? They was out there. Yeah. We saw him. They was <laughs> hey, and then one thing I noticed when I was watching it, he off in the back, like, look at my little minions. Right. Look at him go. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Yo, this bro. is crazy. What kind of witchcraft? That's crazy. All right. All right, what we got next queued up, y'all? All right, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's post what we got for New York because I'm going to tell you right now, everything, all the works that our leadership has been doing, man, is super inspirational. Super inspirational. And this stuff never gets old, man. This thing, every time we watch it is a reason it's – it's a reason why we watch this because it motivates us. It un we understand our purpose. You know what I'm saying? This thing is super inspirational, man. What we got, officer? Hey, also, I just wanted to add because I was actually there while Freaky Jesus was there Bring speaking it out. with the leadership. Yeah. And one of the things that they don't really recognize, they don't really see the point of, is that you got to have multiple men. So where the bishops were sitting there, they're at one camp. They're trying to cause confusion at this one camp. Right, right. Bishop and the deacons and the captains, they're, they're there correcting it. The word is still going out right, right behind right. them. Right, right. Chest move. And then what did they do? They walked across to another camp. Damn. And leadership is walking right there with them. Like, you're not going to cause confusion where we are. But there are 10 camps going out there. Right. How are you going to stop one camp when the, uh, there's nine more exactly. teachers and readers out there doing the same thing? Right, they right. They don't understand That's the purpose. Right. You got to multiply yourself. Right, right. You, all that energy for no reason, right. channeled in the wrong direction. Hey, all, hey, good point, uh, Officer Anonymous back there. We ain't had right. no camera on him. Right, it's Officer Anonymous right there, man. We ain't gonna tell you. We ain't gonna tell you who he is, man. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you oh. know. If you know, you know. know. You know what I'm saying? My boy be in the shadows. He in the shadows. He be in the shadows. All right, let's play this video, y'all. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. you 
Hey, man. Fire! I know we Bruh. are. Fire upon Fire! Fire! You don't King know. Bliss. I know you we, don't know. I know we all felt it, but I like to be the first to say it. I had chill bumps. Right, right. All praises. Hey, That's man. Right. All I know, yes, sir. this truth. Yo, hey, give me Second Corinthians, I mean, Second Chronicles 15 and 3, man. I'm telling you, what you're seeing is the prophets of God back on the earth today. Okay, because we've been without an image for so long, our image has been destroyed. The image of the black man, the Hispanic man, the Native American man, our image has been destroyed. And they're still up. trying to destroy it. Because, yeah. uh, you know, uh, today I went to the movies, right? And I seen, um, what was that, Wakanda Forever. Right. The whole movie is feminism. Absolutely. The whole movie is to push the woman, the woman, the woman. Right. But now you see men rising up. And the right. big, the big brolic brothers. Yeah, all weak, soft. Yeah. Damn. Oh my God. That dumb. Movie made me, yeah, you dumb. Yep. Yep. The movie made me the sick. Hell is this? But when you see the prophets of God back on earth, that image is being brought back of what a true That's man, right. a true leader really looks like. Read right. that for me. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15 and verse 3. Read it out. Now, for a long season, Israel had been without the true God. That's what you've seen. We've been without the true God for so long, right, Read. And without a teaching priest. And without a what? A teaching priest. We have no teachers. We have no leaders. But the prophets of God are back, right? right. Our bishops, our deacons, our captains, they're teaching us. These are your, your, what did it say? Your teaching priests. they back on the earth, right? Read on. And without law. Read. But when they, in their... But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord. And that's what you're seeing happening now. We are in our trouble. We're in Jacob's trouble. And we're turning back to the Lord. Israel's repenting daily. Every day somebody, we get in somebody new coming in. Every day. Right. right? Read. But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord, God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. And that's what you're seeing. The Most High's having mercy on us. Opening doors, doing things behind the scenes that I'm telling you. These, the, why do the heathen rage? This is why. Because this we turn is it, why. This, this is why. Because we turn it back to the Lord, man. For real. Sir, that's sir. right. All oh, praises, man. Great, great stuff, man. All praise to the Most High. Hey, man, these comments are blowing up right now. Right. These comments. Says <laughs> they talking about freaky Jesus right now. But y'all was going to say, obviously, just to your point with um, the priest that you brought out in the Second Chronicles. Uh, we um, Isaiah thirty twenty says, "Thy eyes shall see thy teachers." Right. So go. that's that's what you're seeing right now. That's what you just saw on the video. On the video, you're seeing the prophets of God rising up. You're seeing the army of the Most High God rising up. You understand? Don't sit on the couch. Get in the fight. You understand? <gasps> and you know we're showcasing these videos, right? We in New York. We in New Orleans. But we all over. That's right. We all over worldwide. 12 we are. Worldwide. We are twelve tribes worldwide. That's right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, we we got brothers uh, in South America, Central, North, right. Africa. And obviously, y'all just Europe. left Mexico. Y'all yeah. just left Mexico. Bruh, it in, Esau bro. does, he has no idea where we at, bro. Right. All he need to know is that we everywhere. That's right. Y'all ain't there, we everywhere. The purple's a problem, for The real. purple is a problem. All praise to the Most High God, for That's real. That's right. For real. All praises. All right, let's play this next video. Hello, I'm Yahshua Israel of Israel United in Christ here in Phoenix, Arizona. We are a nonviolent Bible-based organization that is committed to the healing and reconnecting of the black, Hispanic, and Native American communities. Here at Israel United in Christ, you will discover with proof and historical facts that we are indeed the chosen people of the Bible. You will discover the prophecies that foretell that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were given holy names by God but have been taken and replaced names like Rodriguez, Gonzalez, Smith, and Brown. You are not Negroes, wetbacks, or savages. Instead of hating one another and continuing the division amongst us, we must work together against the forces of oppression that have put us in prison houses, placed drugs in our communities, and left us with single parent homes and hopelessness. We are now forced to depend on a nation to save us when they were the ones that enslaved us. It's time for us to join together under God's laws and get back to our original state, royalty. We are more than just leaders of our community. We are fathers, uncles, brothers, mothers, aunts, and sisters. We believe in the family unit that God established. We promote order. We promote unity of our people, which has been lacking amongst us. Our mission is to remind the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans their true identity according to God and to offer biblical solutions to the perpetual oppression that we face every day. We must rise up together as one community and come back to God's laws. 
That is where our salvation lies. The writing's on the wall. We are people not desired. They hunt our steps. They shoot us down in the streets and while we sleep in our beds, holding themselves not guilty. On behalf of IUIC Phoenix, I'm inviting you to our school so that you can learn and remember who you are. So join us today. You can call or email us with the information at the bottom of the screen. We are happy to answer any questions you may have. And welcome home. Yo. That's right. Deacon Yashua was a bad man. Yeah. Bro. Yes. Hey, but I thought we was black Hebrew Israelites. I thought, I thought we, we was, was black, black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites. Israelites. I don't make no, I'm telling you, was, man. Was that a black, hey, can we po post up real, put that video real quick where he's sitting down? Can we get that shot where he's sitting down right there? It don't look black to me. Mm, okay, like all right, that, now yeah. show that to the world real quick. Black Hebrew okay, Israelites. Okay, so Hebrew Israelite? apparently he's a black, black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite, Israelite right there. Wow. wow. Hold on, y'all. Are we not the black Hebrew Israelites? So what happened? Matter of fact, put the camera on us. Put the camera on yeah, us. Let's do that. Because, AD, hey, look, we got a light skin over here, too, man. Hey, y'all are looking at the black Hebrew Israelites. That doesn't even make sense. I'm telling you, Charleston White, you're going to look crazy. Do you want to look crazy. So he already looking he crazy. He talking about some, uh, how come the so-called Hispanic, you don't hear the Puerto Ricans right. and the Dominicans. Hey, I'm a so-called Puerto Rican, bro. <laughs> Guess what I am? I'm an Israelite. That's from right. From the tribe of Ephraim. That's right. That's right. How they got the nerve to say that we we have Simeonites, so-called Dominicans, so-called Cubans. I mean, yeah, so-called Cubans from the tribe of Manessa, uttering and proclaiming and professing their nationality that they are of the twelve tribes of Israel. Getting busy, getting well, busy in the he, streets. Absolutely, in major bricks. Some brothers out there. Absolutely, in, in South and Central America, man, for real. That's he right. So we gonna ride this wave with everything that's going on in the media right now with. Our brother Kyrie, our brother Ye, our brother uh, Jalen Green. We got a lot of brothers that are, and believe me, there's many that are watching that are keeping their mouths closed. And that's and that's and that's what they need much. to do. The Nicodemus, that's, that's what y'all need because to do. Because what's happening yep. is the so-called white man is out there throwing bait, yep. trying to get them to bite so that they can incriminate them, yep. so that they can try to say, "Hey, that was anti-Semitic," yep. but how? I, I'm a semi. Powerful niggardry at work. That's some powerful niggardry. That's real. I'm a semi. So how am I being anti-Semitic? Right. I'm a semi. You're actually being anti-Jew because I'm a Jew and you're not. That's right. How about that? Real. How about that? That's the truth. That's the. If you want to get to the to the gist of it, you want to get to the bottom of it. Guess what? We may be, we may both be Semitic, but we're not both Jew. That's right. The, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, those are the real Jews. That's right. All right? So today, we're going to be going into the Holocaust, the Israelite Holocaust. Holocaust. Right, the Israelite Holocaust. Okay, because we know, we understand that nobody has been through what we've been through hands down. And I dare anybody to speak up. Yeah. I dare anybody to say anything. Right. And prove it with... Bible and historical facts. Right. If you're going to come against us, you need to prove it in the scriptures that we are not the Jews with historical facts. No other nation's been through what we've been through. Right. We're, going to, we're going to prove it today. We're going to prove it tonight. Ooh. We're going to prove it. That's right. So what happened is you have, it says approximately 6 million Jews, right? Yep. Hey, let's get that article yeah, real pull quick. pull that article up. Pull approximately. That, pull that article up about, not that one, not that one. Put one up about the one about, that says approximately six million, or you could pull the one that I got from the Orthodox Jew or Jewish guy. It says the National World War II Museum. Pull that one up. It's gonna show you. What are your thoughts, Officer Kelia? Hey, Officer, to your point in in proving this in the real Holocaust, right? That happened to our people, like. Like historically, you can't you can't doubt that, and a lot of people, uh, a lot of our people, like to shun that. You know, they'll shun and and like to uh, go to their slave master with that. Can I get scripture real quick while we wait Absolutely. on that? Absolutely. Uh, Proverbs, give me Proverbs twenty nine verse eighteen, because what we just saw with uh, with all the videos that we're watching here at at IUIC, what we're doing is we're establishing a vision for our people to see. 
That's right. Like you said, our people, when they see us march at the Barclays, when they see us march in New Orleans, they, it's giving them a vision. It's giving them something to look to. Yeah, hope. Read this real quick. Oh, go ahead, sir. Read this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 18. Uh -huh. Read it out. Where there is no vision. The people perish. So that's what we're doing. We're giving our people a vision because we've perished in the in, in the ghettos, in the in the worst communities today. We're still perishing in there because that's why it's important for us to go out there and teach and give our people back a vision that they did not know. Like uh, a lot of the videos that we're going to go over, this is history our people don't even know. Read it again. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 18. Uh -huh. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Read. But he that keepeth the law, Happy as he. Once you get that vision, you start understanding why we went into slavery, why this happened to us. Now you're going to be more inclined to keep the laws of God because you know why you've been getting, you've been catching a beatdown, a spiritual right. beatdown. Now you see our men out there happy to do what? To do the work of God. Right. That's right. All right. So let's pull that up. I need you to read that, Officers of Kerr. Yes, sir. Let's read that. Article, The Holocaust. Wait. Yep. There you go. The Holocaust was Nazi Germany's deliberate, organized, state-sponsored persecution and machine-like murder of approximately six million European Jews and at least five million prisoners of war. Stop right there. That's all we need from this article. That's all we need. So they say a pro a around six million Jews, right? Or Jewish people died. Bro, that approximately is a big gap. Bro. I'm sorry. I, I truly believe that approximately is a big gap. Because I, re I, I, put, I, I said this in a class that we did the other day, right? Mm -hmm. But I remember the videos that were on YouTube. This was about 10 years ago mm -hmm. where it was called Zeitgeist and, so, and other, other claims from Orthodox Jewish uh, rabbis, right? So-called rabbis where they would say, hey, we don't agree with these other Jewish men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't agree with, with, with them, and they call us Orthodox Jewish. Why? Because, because of Psalm 64 and verse, what's that, 8? And give me that, give me that other article where it says under a million. You know which one I need? You want me to read? Uh, yes, yeah, Psalms chapter 64, where they're going to fall upon, they're going to make their own tongue to fall. Yes, sir, that's it. Verse 8, go ahead. Hey, and pull that article up, under a million. The book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 8. Come on. Bring it out. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. They shall do what? They shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. You see that? So guess what? They're going to be snitching on each other. <laughs> right. They like, hey, they are, they are the, uh, of their father, the devil. Uh, they're of the synagogue of Satan. What's it mean to be a devil, to be... To be of Satan, it means you're a deceiver, deceiver you're a liar, liar. Yep. you're a blasphemer, you're, you're full of fables and lies and falsehood, right? Read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 8. Bring it out. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that, all that see them shall flee away. So when they, when they made their own tongue to fall upon themselves is when they decided to call themselves Israeli, mm. Jewish. You see that? Because we know Israeli means you're a citizen of Israel. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you're of the tribes of Israel. That's right. That's right. Jewish me is like if I say, "Hey, I'm blackish." Does that, that make me black? That don't make you black, right? No. Right. You got you got a sitcom that's called Blackish. blackish Everybody right. know what Blackish yeah, means. Yep. Hey, I got a white friend. He acts blackish. Right. Yeah, but he's he's Esau. He's red. He's not he's not a black man. Right. So when you call yourself Jewish, guess what you're doing? You're letting everybody know you're not a Jew. Right. That's right. You're not a Jew. Hey, you gonna you gonna no, read go something? Ahead, go yeah, because you're going in. You're going in right now. Give me uh Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 5, dealing with how the Jewish, right? Or what the leadership, we're gonna call them Israelis, right? Israeli, because right, right. they can't even have that Jewish. Don't right. even give them that, right? Y'all right. not the real Jews, okay? And we're gonna prove out of the scriptures how y'all stole that land, man. Y'all stole that land. That land don't belong to you. All right, read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do me. Against who? All I do me. That's what we're going to start doing. We're going to call you by your biblical names. I do me, Edom, Esau, Esau, Amalek, right? Edom. The Agagites. That's what we're going to do. Right. 
Because right. they hate it when we call them by their real names in the scripture. Right. Son, son of Haman, right. son of yep. Agag, yep. son of Esau, yep. the Dukes, son of right. Herod, the yep. Dukes. <laughs> That's what we're going to do, man. Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, let's read this article before we go to uh, commercial, because because right. then I want to I want to touch on this. Go ahead. New All right, York. make sure make sure the people online can see it. I want y'all to see this. This is by your own your own rabbi. All right, these are not the words coming from us. This is from your rabbi. Let's see what he has to say. Hmm. New York rabbi. Damn, Damn. and he's he's probably one of those high level tier. Rabbis, because in New York, they are pretty, uh, those are the rich, rich. Yeah, go ahead. New York rabbi, not even one million, not even one million Jews killed in the Holocaust. Ooh. Damn, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Damn. Wait a wait. minute. So now, I'll there were a lot of videos on YouTube, Officer Joshua, that was in regards to this, and they, and they, and they uh, flagged all those videos on YouTube. Down. Yep. Because there was a lot of people doing documentaries, mm. not just the article. I'm talking about documentaries well, obviously- of older people that were actually older Jewish people <sighs> that were in Germany, and they would say, "Nah, it was about five hundred thousand, give or take." But they pushing but, this six million down. No, 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 no. Every five, five to ten years, one year, it they changed. continue to try to magnify the numbers. Damn. I'm gonna tell you by, by the time it's 2040 or 2050, if the Messiah ain't come back, they're gonna bump it up. They Holocaust gonna have been worse than ours, cause all they do is create lies, man. Right. Mm. The hell is all this? they do is lie. That's all they do. That's all they know how to do. That's crazy. Let's keep reading that article. Let's read. Do I need to read the Yosef? Yeah, read that. Yosef Ms. Rockeye, Ms. Rockeye claims high assimilation rates inflated as estimates. Uh huh. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> historians say. All right, scroll up. Up, up, look, 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 look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, look, look at what that. they did, whoa, Israel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at what they did. If it's not, if it's anti-Semitic. a lie, anti-Semitic. They, no, they got to change that. Violates terms of Amalek service. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Violating Amalek's <laughs> terms of service. <laughs> they need to take now, YouTube dog. out of there. Right. Violating, Amalek. but they own YouTube. The fake so, Jews' term of service. Exactly. They own YouTube. They own all. They that own service. it. Yep. But that's how you know what though. That's how Esau mask himself. Mm-hmm. If you pay a bill your, yep. and your bill comes home and it's, oh, I got to play the Pico energy bill. Right. Pico is actually another word for Esau. Yep. Right. Uh, the what the cable bill, Spectrum, that's yep. another name for, for Esau. Esau. Right. Uh, who Dasani. is the Huh? Dasani. Pixie. T-Mobile, yeah. Dasani. Yep. All these Chevron. are actually, huh? Yep. Chevron. Uh, Chevron. Chevron. All that but stuff. It don't matter. These, Esau. you might as well put the so-called white man is, instead of, because that's who this money is going to. Mm-hmm. So that was a very heavy point that you said, Officer Joshua. Scroll up. Read that. A controversial... Ultra Orthodox rabbi. Basically. Stop! Ultra! Stop! <laughs> stop ultra! Yo, hey, this Jewish, this Jewish rabbi must have metamorphosized. Yeah, he was super. And, yeah, he must have. He's a super Orthodox. Orthodox. This is a hey, when 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 their when their tongues start to fall upon themselves, mm. they start trying to discredit one another now. Mm. But a lot of them know the truth, and they know that it's not six million because they've said it. Yeah. But the other Jewish. We'll delete those articles on Google. Dog, we'll huh? delete the videos on YouTube. They will delete right. that content. Mm. Let's go. A controversial ultra-Orthodox rabbi based in New York has said that fewer than one million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. You hear that? That's at 500,000. Well, yo, this is from documentaries that go back from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s that you can no longer find on YouTube anymore. Mm. I tried to go Bruh. back and look for them. I couldn't find them. Nah, bro. they gonna take all they that took stuff down. That they off. gonna take it down. They took that information off. The same way they tried to burn our books. The same way they tried to destroy our history. Because watch this. Give me Micah chapter two. Micah chapter two and verse one. This is why they do it. And then we are gonna go to commercial right after this. The book of Micah chapter two and verse one. Bring it up. Woe to them that devise iniquity. They devise iniquity. Anytime they see. Uh, truth trying to come up out of the earth, they try to plug that hole back up. Mm-hmm. They trying to plug, they trying to stop the truth from uh, springing out of the earth. Come on. And work, uh, and work evil upon their beds. They work evil upon their beds. How? When they have those crafty councils at night. That's right. Come on. When the morning is light, they practice it. They practice the evil 
that they that they had a meeting about the night prior in their in their crafty meeting councils on C-SPAN right. and their secret meetings. Come on. Because it is in the power of their hand. Because it is in the power. Hold that. Give me Job 24. I think it's 9 and 24. Mm -hmm. And then we coming back yes, right sir. here. It is in the power of their hands to do it. They said, we own YouTube. So don't put no folly out there. We're going to put it out. They, they continue to try to shut down our channels. Mm -hmm. We build them right back up. Yep. All praise to the most high God. <laughs> For diligent men with a, with a willing spirit to actually keep the work going knowing they can't stop this truth. Hey, there was a um, there was a Kanye. There was a few men that was that was going into building a new website where you can't flag content. Yes, yes. And man. I think Kanye I, was trying to buy that. He was, yeah. They stopped them from buying that that um app too. Yup. Yeah. They stopped them from buying that. Yep. Read what you got. The Book of Job, chapter nine and verse twenty-four. We just read in Micah chapter two, verse two, where it was in the power of their hands. Mm -hmm. Whose hands is this? Read. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You see that? There's embassies all around the world. But from what nation? Is it the Arabs? Is it the Chinese, the Japanese? Hmm. Who's allowed to put embassies all around the world? Who has that type of power? Yes, Esau. The Esau devil. is doing that. Yep. Devil, right. a so-called white man. Right. right. It's in the power of his hands. Come on. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And he tries to destroy and hide our nationality. He covered the faces of the judges. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the judges of the earth. That's right. We are the, the Israelites. Right. That's right. Come on. If was, not, if not, where and who is he? Where and who is he? Let's go back to Micah chapter 2. The book of Micah chapter 2 and verse 2. Come on. And they covet fields. And they covet fields. They'll take your land. Isn't that what they did to the Native Americans? We're right. going to talk about the Holocaust. Right. They took all of North America. The Jewish funded the slave trade. You can find that. In uh in many books, the third the thirteenth tribe, uh Caucasian, what was the other one that we pulled? It's called Caucasian something. Okay, and then uh we have a book called the uh Spain, that's a uh, uh, a city or country that was blighted by religion, meaning destroyed. Mm. Come on. Read. And and they covered fields and take them by violence. And they take them by violence. Why? Because that was their gift That's right. that the Lord gave them. That was their temporary blessing right. that the Lord gave them in Genesis chapter 27. That's right. Where he says, you're going to live by the sword, sword, Esau. Come on. And houses. Come and on. take and, them and away. And houses. And they take them away by violence. Come on. So they oppress a man and his house. They oppress a man and his house. They say, this ain't your house. Take your, take your photo albums down. I'm putting mine up, and this is my house now. Right. And they, if you got a problem with that, we're going to kill everybody. Oh, you ain't got no problem with that? All right, cool. We can live at peace? All right, cool. So as he turns his back, Esau kill him anyway. Right. Right. And go back to that Ezekiel, because I didn't finish that. Ezekiel 36 and 5, because like you bringing out how they stole our land, right, the, American, the Native American lands, but... The main land that they stole was Israel, Jerusalem, our homeland. They That's stole right. that from us. Right, and they right, stole right. our identity, everything about us. They let stole me get, it. Let me get that last sentence, bro. Yeah, the yeah, last ahead, one. Read that. Yes, sir. They get a man, his house. So they oppress a man and his house. Uh-huh. Even a man and his heritage. Bro, they even got the nerve. Yo, the, 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 the black man was still a Snickers bar. Some mm -hmm. Tim, some rims, some jewelry. Right. The white man steals land. He steals your nationality. Yeah, right. Right. Don't get no yeah. time. He steals your identity, everything. Your he name, steals everything. your wife. He your, steals things on a whole nother level. You stole your history. Yep. Picture that's animals. my that's, history. Now, now that's a whole nother level thief right there. Go ahead, officer. Yeah, read that. Ezekiel 36 and 5. The book of Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 5. Read it out. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy, have I spoken against the residue of the heathen? Come on. And against all I do me. Read on. Which have appointed my land into their possession. You see that? That's what we just read in Micah, right? They stole the land. When did that happen? In 70 AD and in 1948. Okay, they stole the land. Read. With the joy of their heart. With despiteful minds. With despiteful minds. That's that think tanks that they have. Okay? The despiteful minds. They think about it upon their beds. Read on. To cast it out for a prey. And they have cast it out for a prey. They destroyed us, stole our, our, our nation. Now, everything about us, they stole it, and now mm. they are the Jews. Bro, off the us. Up. They trying to steal the moon from God. Right. They trying to steal right. Mars from God. The hell yep. is this? What do you think they're going to do to us? What do you think right. they've been doing to us? It, it shouldn't surprise us. They try to steal everything. Right. They try, there was, uh, they stole uh, our, our brothers, the Native Americans. 
by becoming what? Five dollar Indians. Yep. Yeah, the brother uh, Issachar 12 Tribes put that down in the comments. He said the five dollar Indians also. They would they would play, yep, they steal everything up under the sun, y'all. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna go to commercial. All right. What we gonna play? I like that song. It's a blackout when the blacks out. Because they love to hide us. Every time we go out there, they never display us on a commercial. They never they try to keep us off uh the news. They always try to black us out. What we got, what we got, IT? All oh, praise to the most high. So, Israel, with that, stay tuned. We coming right back with the more WCO, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. All oh, praise. <laughs>
of the nation of Israel that the Bible speaks about. All praise, all praises, Israel. We are back. That's I'm Officer right. Alez. Right. Officer Razis. Officer Joshua. Officer Kelia. Officer Zakor. And we make up WCO right. with another edition. Tell you, the Israelite Holocaust. We about to we about to go. The Israelite Holocaust, y'all. We about to get into it, man. Y'all see the works going down. Yep. And the whole reason that's happening is because we expose the stuff like this. Yep. Go ahead, Officer Razis. Yeah, let's pull that up. Read that. Death toll from the slave trade, the African Holocaust. 60 million dead at the hand of white Christians. Whoa, whoa, off the rip. It says 60 <laughs> million dead of the hands of white Christian imperialism. Damn. Okay. Damn. What was the last article, Officer as you just pulled? It was how many? It said less than a million. Less than a million. According to their rabbi, right. who they call an ultra mega orthodox, yep. something like that, Optimus Prime, yeah, Jew, right. Jewish or something. Right. And, and officer, real quick, you know how with that article they they puffed up their numbers. You understand? Right. But this is like That's confirmed it could feels. be more. Yes, we know it's more. You understand? We yeah, know it's the exact more. opposite. Right. Because right. this is right. this is just Double dealing with that. the the transatlantic slave trade. What about right. the? The sub-Saharan slave trade, right? right? right. And we're going to touch on, on the on 1492 with the conquistadors. Correct. Add mm -hmm. that, too. No. So you can't compare. You can't compare. And that's like Deacon Ithan always says. They can't be the Israelites because they got that victim, that victimizing spirit. Yeah. Woe is me. Yeah. Oh, Words hurt them. Yeah, right. Right. Words right. hurting right. them. Right. Right. Bro, you can't be from the lineage of King David, King right. Solomon, right. the Maccabees. You can't be those men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Read. Let's finish that. Come on. 60 million dead at the hands of white Christian imperialism. Wow. Look at that. Look, look at yep. the visual. Look at the visuals. Mm. Deuteronomy 28. Now that's a holocaust right yes. there. That's a holocaust. Let's read that. The largest slave trade in the history of the world. Stop. Stop right there. Daniel's <laughs> 9 and 11, man. Yes, sir. Bring it out. Daniel's in 9 and 11. It, re, it said the largest slave trade in the history of, of the, the world. world. You can't make this stuff up, man. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Bring it out. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Come on. Therefore, the curse. The what? The curse. Go back to the visual. Go back to the visual. Yep, show that. R read that word again. Therefore, the curse. That's what you're seeing on your screen. The curse of God, the fury of the Lord. Because we didn't want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. This is what he put upon us. <gasps> this is that sign that he, to let us know who we are in the last days is this right here. Read on. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. Because we have sinned against him. Read on. And he hath confirmed his words. Declaring the end from the beginning. He has confirmed his word. You can take that down. He has confirmed his word, right? Read. Which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us. Read. By bringing upon us a great evil. And that was a great evil. Slavery was a great evil that the Lord had to put upon us because we refused to keep his commandments. No other nation could take claim to this history. No other nation can say they went through this, man. That's right. Right? Read on. For under the whole heaven. Under the whole heaven, right? It said the largest slave trade in the history of the world, right? Read on. Have not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. You see Damn. that? Damn. Damn. Nobody could take claim to this. What Nobody. happened to us? No other nation went through this, man. Nobody. Damn. Hey, it, 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 I mean, this is, this is so easy to be understood. You just read above. The curse is poured upon us. Who did, who did he use in the curse? To pour it upon us. He used somebody as a vessel. Hey, read read that sentence one more time on the article. I want to finish that sentence. Read that. 
the largest slave trade in the history of the world Come was on. created by, by, the, by white Christian Europeans. Read that one more time. The largest slave trade in the history of the world was created by white Christian Europeans. So Damn. shame, shame on you brothers and sisters that want to be Christians. Christians right. right. Shame on y'all, man, because they're the same ones that taught us Christianity. Right. The Bible don't say you got to be a Christian to be saved. It says keep the commandments. Right. That's right. These I'll same people that raped, robbed, and murdered us. Get, let's read about that curse that was poured upon us. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and That's verse 48. Right. right. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Come on. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Uh-huh. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall pour against you. Come on. In hunger. In hunger. He was going to use our enemies, the so-called Christian Europeans. Right. Come on. And in thirst. Come on. And in nakedness. Come on. And in the want of all things. So we were going to have to serve these Christian Europeans as slaves for the one of all things. Come on. And he. And what was... What would these Christian Europeans do to our foremothers and our forefathers? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And you want to be a Christian today? You have the nerve to want to be a Catholic or in any of them, any yeah. of them uh, denominations. Right. Now you got our brothers joining Judaism now. Now you got black folks right. joining Judaism. Right. When, when the leadership has bringing out that it wasn't just the Christian, it was Amalek. It was the Jewish that was funding the slave trade as well. Right. Right. Let's pull up the pictures for the officer to go with that with that precept. While you looking up that picture, read forty. Keep reading. Yep. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Come on. Until he have destroyed thee. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. So we were gonna serve our, serve our enemies, and this nation was gonna put a yoke of iron on our neck. Who did this to us? Yep. We're reading Bible prophecy. Pull it up. We are reading Bible prophecy. This was prophesied by Moses around 1500 B.C. approximately. Right. That Ooh. this would happen if we went against the commandments of God. Come on. And the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From far. From Europe. Spain. Italy. Germany. Portugal. Greece. Portugal. Read. From the end of the earth. From the eastern hemisphere. As swift as the eagle fly. What were they going to represent? The eagle. Hey, you see the eagle, you can see it on your bank card, your right. mail, your currency, the money, the coins, the flags. What do they they put eagles everywhere? Message. They're thank you. They're letting you know who they are in the Bible. Right. The so-called white man, also known as Esau Idumian Edom. That's right. Or today, Amalek also and the Jewish, right. the fake Jews, according to the Bible. Mm. Hey, go to Psalms 18 and, and uh, Psalm 17 and 14, because to, to go with the officer's point, how he said that the Lord will use these nations against us because we broke the commandments, right? Watch what the Bible calls this man. The Watch book of this. Psalms, chapter 17 and verse 14. Bring it out. Start Psalm, at verse 13. Verse 13. Arise, O Lord. Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Do what? Deliver my soul from the wicked. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Watch this. Look what he calls him. Which is thy soul. You see that? Which is the Lord's sword. The Lord will use the nations to correct us. That's why we're going through these curses because the Lord is using these nations to put us in check because we don't want to keep these commandments, man. Right. Right. <clears throat> right. Well said, officer. All right. Let's, let's put that uh, photo on the screen so everybody can see it. They shall put yokes of iron on your neck. Look at this. Did we not read this in the Bible? You know what's crazy? I mean, the, the Bible will connect the dots for you, man. Song of Solomon 1 and 5, I am black. Jeremiah 14 and 2, Judah mourneth, they are black unto the ground. They're black people. Oh. Uh, Joe, my skin is black upon me. And oh. then you hear about us going into slavery and slave ships with yokes of iron on our necks. I mean, do you not understand when God is mentioning Israel, he is talking to you, so-called black man. Right. He's talking to you, so-called Hispanic man and Native American man. We are the 12 tribes. What you got, officer? Officer, I just wanted to touch on, can we bring the picture back up? Look at how his posture, you see his, you see his shoulders is above that collar. That means that, that, that yoke on his neck is heavy. Right. 
Oh man, do I do I really gotta? Okay, I'm glad you said that. Some people the, just think it's you know. No, no, no. You're you're correct. You're correct. Think about it. We really don't understand the the oppression. Just the having that on, like you said, that thing probably weighs about fifty pounds. Right. That is pure steel. He's the, and it's probably super heavy. That's why his hands are probably. He's trying to keep it up a little bit to make it more comfortable for himself. Think about it. He had to sleep with that on too. Imagine, you can't even lay on your side. You can't lay on your back. How are you supposed, not only that, look at how the chains yep, are dangling down from his arms right. to, to the shackles of his feet. Hey, officer, and those chains, that, that, that yoke of iron was created. So if you try to run away, you go through the bushes and the, and the, and the, the forest and all that, you'll get caught up. Right. Yeah, you so break get, your neck. Yeah, you'll get stuck in those bushes with that, with that type of chain on, on your neck. Right, right. Damn. Um, and uh, there's a uh, there's a museum in Philadelphia. It's called Never Forget something like that. The Never Forget Museum, where they have the actual they they do the demonstrations there, you know. And a lot of a lot of our brothers and sisters that go there, the sister has actual chains, yokes of iron, shackles, and I mean these things are super heavy. We look at it, we just take it for face value by the screen, but we really don't understand until we actually. Feel it when, when you feel the rust, the dirt, the heaviness. It that thing is scary, man. Right. And uh, she allowed you to to wear it, to put it on, to see. And a lot of people shook their heads and wouldn't do it, bro. I did it, man. My head, that thing, that thing hurt, bro. Okay. I, and you already know, you know, it causes gangrene. Mm -hmm. It's rusty. You get like typhoid infections. I was gonna say, officer, just like in that movie Django. I don't yeah. know if anybody right. saw Django, but when they took the uh, shackles off his ankles, remember right. when they killed the slave master? And all right. That, but his ankles was bleeding. Yup. Yeah. And it was freezing cold out there. We don't know how long they had been walking. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. Barefoot. And it's, they man. had these same chains on our children. There you go. Mm. There you go. Thanks. Matter of fact, go to Deuteronomy 28 and 40. Let's read that 49 again. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Come on. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Uh-huh. From the end of the earth. Come on. As swift as the eagle flight. Come on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Read. A nation of fierce countenance. They were going to be a fierce countenance. The U.S. Mm. Cavalry. Okay. The American military. They did the same thing. To the um, the Spaniards did it. The Spanish, let me say, the Spanish Caucasian, right. who a large majority of them were Jewish, did it to the indigenous natives that were already on this side of the earth. Then you got the English Caucasian mm. from England and Ireland and all those areas in Europe came right. down here and did the same thing to who? To our black brothers. Right. They brought them from the west coast, uh, from west coast uh, shores of Africa. Gold coast. From yeah. central Africa. They brought them all over here. Mm -hmm. Come on. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. So like you mentioned, officers occur. It was going to be the young and the old. It, it didn't matter. Get Baruch 2 and verse 1. Yeah, Baruch also, 2 and verse 1. Go ahead. He's getting that. What we're reading about here is the real Holocaust. You understand? These yeah. are the events that happen in the real Holocaust. Right. <gasps> not that, that Israeli Holocaust that y'all read about today. Hey, and to your point, Officer Joshua, that Holocaust is still ongoing today. Right. That's right. It's called mass incarceration. That's right. right. Abortion. It's called mass abortion Black by the code, millions. Red line. We still going right. through a Holocaust, and they got the nerve to say, how come y'all are uh, desensitized to our Holocaust? We still being put to death. Right. right. Message. Come on, read what you got. The book of Baruch, chapter 2 and verse 1. Read it out. Therefore, the Lord... Have made good his word. He made good the curses of Deuteronomy 28, just like Daniel spoke. Come on. Which he pronounced against us. He pronounced, meaning he was speaking against his own children because we rebellious as hell. He said, keep the commandments and you'll be prosperous and these nations will serve you. But if you do vice versa, it'll be the other, it'll be the other way around. You'll be on the bottom and then you got to serve the nations. And they don't play fair. God says, I'll bless you if you serve me. All you got to do is do what I say. Oh, you want to do what they say and keep thanks killing and uh, Christmas and all this pagan crap? Okay, then go ahead and serve them. Let's see how that works out for you. Y'all better come back to the Bible. Right. Y'all better quit playing. Go ahead. And against our judges that judged Israel. Uh -huh. And against our kings and against our princes and against the men of Israel and Judah. Come on. To bring upon us great plagues. 
such as never, excuse me, such as never happened under the whole heaven. It was great plagues. You, the numbers, when you read about, when you read about 250 million in South America, the largest slave trade. We didn't even touch on South America just yet. And guess what? That's the tribe of Asher, the tribe of Naphtali. Right. Those are the real Jews down there. That's right. right. They, they even surpassed North America. They had 250 to three, almost 300 million uh, slaves that were transported to South America. Then you got the 100 million Native American Indians in North America. Then add in another Central 200 America. million from Africa that came over. Then add, that's not counting Central America. Well, that's not it's even, a car, right? Zebulon. That's not even counting them. We haven't even exactly. We haven't even talked about what Hernan Cortez and Ponce de, de Leon, Leon did, right. like you Puerto said. Puerto Rico and yeah. Keep reading that. As it as it came to pass in Jerusalem, according to the thing that were written in the law of Moses. Read that one more time. Verse two. Verse two to bring upon us great plagues. Such as never happened under the whole heaven. Man, you got the nerve to mention a fabricated six million? Right. You got the nerve to mention a fabricated six million? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We just read with the ultra mega... Uh, Orthodox. Orth Transformer. <laughs> ultra. Yeah. Yeah. He said blind. it was only 500,000. Right. And shame on our people for even thinking to defend them. Yo, they watch Anne Frank and Frank yeah. and Schindler's List yeah. and yeah. cry. They, thinking cry. To they start them. crying. Yeah. Officer, you remember when we went into camp in South Austin and we was bringing this out and the other nations was laughing at us? Yeah, right. yeah. For the atrocities yeah. of our people, that's how they feel. They don't give a darn. They nah, didn't nah. lock them up. They didn't nah. say, hey, nope. that's anti-Semitic. Anti nope. They was laughing, bro. They was we was, we was bringing it out, and they was laughing, man. Man, come on, let's get to that next. Let's get to the next article of video. I know Officer yeah. Azariah posted something. Let's see if we can get his video real quick. I want to play that. Y'all can bring that around, man. This is this is the true Holocaust. Let's watch this. I right, read uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight while we wait. Yep. Yes, sir. Just real quick. Good point. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. This right, right here is the biggest factor right here when right. it comes to identifying who the children of Israel are. The slave ships, you can't get around this, okay? You can't get around this. And it wasn't just Moses that prophesied about the slave ships. You have the prophets did it. Christ did it. Real quick, I know we're about to pull your video up, officer. Real quick, Isaiah twenty two seventeen. That's right. It wasn't just Moses that prophesied about the slave ships. The prophets did it. Christ. They all throughout the Bible, you're going to read about the slave ships. The book of Isaiah, chapter 22 and verse 17. Bring it out. Behold, the Lord will carry thee away with a mighty captivity. He will do what? Carry thee away with a mighty captivity. How do you think the Lord carried us away? How do you think he did it with them slave ships? That's right. right. Read. And will surely cover thee. Read on. He will surely violently cover Turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. So if you ever been to the beach, right, and you throw a ball in the ocean, it tossed to and fro in the right. waves. And it says he'll toss us into a large country. What country was that? North, Central, and South America. Okay? That's where we was tossed to and fro That's on right. the slave ships. That's right. Read on. There shall thou die. There what? Read it again. There shall thou die. In this country, like the officer said, we are still going through our Holocaust, man. No, right. are you sure? Because they, because blacks are singing "God Bless America." <laughs> yeah, they God. crazy. They bugged out their mind, man. It says in this. I am free. <laughs> yep. Right. You gonna see. You gonna see freedom. You gonna see freedom if you keep these hey, commandments, Joe man. <laughs> Joe Biden got elected. But you see, God, bro, free, bro. bro was singing, I am free. What, what the scripture says, surely that you're what? He, he will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball. Come on. Into a large country. Read uh -huh. on. There shall thou die. In that large country in America, you will die like men. Not Read. be free, right? Nah, we ain't, we far from free. Read on. And there, the chariots of thy glory shall be the shame of thy Lord's house. You see that? So wow. it wasn't just Moses that prophesied it. It was the prophets, Christ, they all they all spoke the same thing, man. Right. Well said, well said. Let's get that video. 
We cooking, y'all. This is to WCO. The law Let's get against it. hate crimes and hate speech with the aim of making it easier to secure convictions in the courts. Helen McEntee said the proposed legislation would strike a balance between safeguarding free speech and being victim centered. Stanley Aguzier vividly remembers when he came face to face with a stranger's hate in Dublin city centre. Started yelling and calling me names, you know, using the N-word or leave this country. He even said it, I hate you. Like, the worst part was when he threw, you know, spit on me and I, the best thing I could do at that time was to leave that particular environment. But leaving that environment, those words, those names didn't leave my mind. Ireland does not currently have hate crime legislation, but it is expected this year. Today, the Minister for Justice said she was amending her approach to the long-promised bill by including a demonstration test in addition to a motivation test in order to make it easier to secure prosecutions. Hey, so hold on, pause test. that. Give me Daniel chapter 7 just to show you what he's doing. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. This is what they do. This is what they do, inconsistencies in their own laws. Read what you got. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. And he, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. They shall think to change times and laws. They're panicking so much, they can't do anything uh, to defame the Bible. It's the number one selling book in the world for the last 5,000 years, okay? There's nothing, they, they cannot go again. They're finding out that the scriptures can't be broken, so they're trying to incorporate laws where they can break the scriptures. They're trying to find a way where they can get the prophets to stop from teaching the truth. Like officer, like Bishop Nathaniel brought out, that's why they're coming up with the new 10 commandments, right? Damn, a whole yeah. new, and what are they gonna do with those new 10 commandments? They're gonna, come up with a whole new Bible, and they're going to make this Bible, right? The one that we use, the KJV Bible, outlawed. It's going to be illegal to use this Bible because they got their whole new Ten Commandments, new Bible. God loves everybody. You could be a homosexual. You could, you could do uh, uh, sacrifice babies. You could do all this evil, but you can't teach with this Bible. That's yep, what they're going to do. Yep, they want to change the scriptures. Keep reading. And think to change times and laws. Come on. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Go to 8 and 25. Same book. Watch this. The book of Daniel chapter 8 and verse 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. That crafty counsel through his policy. Why? Because it is in the power of their hands to do so. The wicked, the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Whatever they got to do to try to hinder and stop the truth from going forth. That's what they're going to do. It's in the power of their craft. And a lot of our people that are blind, that are not, that, that, that love America cannot see the destruction coming. They don't understand that your enemy is, he's just lining you up. He's lining you up. Come on. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. He will magnify himself in his heart. Like you said, how dare you say you're going to come up with a new Ten Commandments? These commandments are coming from the creator of the heavens and the earth. That's right. You're going to say, nah, they're not good enough. You know what? We're going we're gonna to reinvent the wheel. We're going to redo this thing. And officers, just like Psalms 19 verse 7 says what? The law of the Lord is perfect. You Thank you. There's nothing right. wrong There's nothing with the most wrong. high God's laws. But they're it's perfect. Not, you it's not perfect to a demon. Mm. That's Thanks. a good point, officer. Finish that. And by peace shall destroy many. And by peace... By claiming, oh, this is the new Ten Commandments and we're going to create peace this way. No, all that's going to do is usher in the destruction that much faster. Get that scripture for Officer Joshua, Psalms 19. Go ahead, Officer. Yes, sir. Let's get that. Psalms 19, verse 7. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. No, no, no. We, we need to make uh, new laws because God's laws are not good enough. Come on. The law of the Lord is perfect. Most high God's laws. Laws are perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. Come on. Converting the soul. Converting, meaning what? Changing the soul. Keep reading. Watch this though. Come on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. The testimony of the Lord is what? Sure. Meaning what? You can bank on this. You can bank on God's laws. You can bank on the prophecies and the testimonies of the Most High God in His Bible. The Most High said in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, we were going to slavery on slave ships, and that's exactly how it happened. That's Come right. On. That's right. Come Making on, watch this. 
Making wise the simple. Making wise the simple minded. What? This, if you're simple minded, which you are, if you are operating outside of God's laws, you are simple minded. You That's understand? Damn. It makes what? Making what? Wise the simple. Making wise the simple. You want true wisdom. Wisdom is in the scriptures of the Most High God. Come on. Verse 8. No, that's, that's it on it. Yeah, that's, that's it on it. it. All praises. Hey, all pull up that article, the U.S. history riddled with massacres, all right? So we're going to keep di diving in into the Israelite Holocaust because, like, we've been bringing out all night, this man is found to be a liar. His right. Holocaust ain't real. It's all Holocaust. Let's read that. U.S. history riddled with massacres, genocide. Scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We want... Right there. Read so that. the reason why we bring in this up real quick is because when you read Galatians, we're not going to pull it. Galatians, for the sake of time, Galatians, I think it's 3.16 or 4.16, where it says, am I therefore now your enemy because I show you the truth? Right. We're showing you the truth about the real Holocaust, the ultimate Holocaust, that cannot be compared to any other nation on this earth. We ain't even going back to what Bishop mentioned, uh, where he says, the Greek Empire, we were in captivity. The Roman captivity, the Persian and me, the, the Babylonian, the Assyrian, these are all slaveries. Right. Times uh, and empires where we have been enslaved for centuries and centuries. We're not even talking about how, many, how much blood was shed in those. We're just going into, this is honestly current events. This literally happened between 400 and 600 years ago at the max. Right. Go ahead, officer. Yeah, so let's read that. Native American genocide. The 13 American colonies population grew from about 2,000 to 2.4 million between 1625 and 1775, while displacing Native Americans from eastern, northern, or excuse me, eastern North America. You see that? So their population grew. How did that happen? Because the natives was teaching them how to survive on this land. Through genocide, through, through killing, bloodshed, that's how they was able to do that, to, to grow their numbers, right? Read on. After the colonies declared independence in 1776 from Great Britain and, former, and formed the, the U.S., the settlers started to move west, clashing with the eradicating, or excuse me, clashing with, the, with clashing and eradicating with, yeah, yeah, the go. Apache, Cherokee, Cheyenne, Chinook, Navajo, and, and Sulk. Tribe. You see that? These are all the different tribes that they destroyed of our brothers, the so-called Native Americans, right? Read on. Some of the names today are sadly used from American warfare helicopters. Wow. And, and that's the, how they mock us, man. Now, after they destroy you, they take your name and they'll put it on the street, right? right. They'll Damn. put it at a uh, name they helicopter that. Hey, that's what, yeah, they call the uh, the helicopter an Apache, a Chinook. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, remember that. About, yeah, you yep. know about that stuff, officer. That's exactly what they yep. do. Officer, but officer. I just learned that. I didn't, wow. Wow. Also on uh, some of their military bases, I know for, for a fact, for the hood, they have the names of the so-called Native American tribes as the names of the, the streets. The, the, right. The, yep. Where they live that is literally I did, called yep. that. The Comanche. They even have the, uh, the the emblem for the units and the battalions yep. with the with the eye, with the... Uh, what do you call? A lot of it is Esau symbolism. He has the 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 Indian head. Yes, sir. Just like they did the the Redskins, right? The sports the football yeah. team. Right. They also have old Ironsides, which is a pyramid. They have, um, uh, it was called Thirteenth Airborne Corps, where they used the dragon. And I used to always wonder why are they using a the dragon? Yeah. They got uh, Tenth Mountain mm -hmm. because they're from the mountains, the Caucasus right. Mountains. Right. Uh, with two swords yep. mm -hmm. on it. What are them swords for? That was a gift that was given to them in, the, in, uh, Genesis, in Genesis, Genesis 27. 27. So right. all the symbolism that they use is biblical. That's right. Hey, the devil know who he is. He, know who he, is, he knows man. himself. <laughs> Let's That's read on. One thing. Some of the names today are sadly used for American war, war, warfare helicopters and ubiquitous sports utility vehicles. The national holiday Thanksgiving celebrates, celebrated in November is traced to the 1620s when European settlers invited Native Americans to a feast. Come on. The settlers later killed, excuse me, the settlers later killed the population and gave thanks to God for allowing them to slaughter the savages. That's your thanksgiving right there. Man. 
man. So all you people that celebrated Thanksgiving, you should be ashamed of yourself, right? right. And I know somebody online right now yep. eating leftovers. Yep, yep. Right. Shame on yeah, you. Shame, 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 shame. shame, shame. Man, I'm telling you straight up, man. <laughs> eating leftovers right real, now, man. man. Repent, man. Hey, before we, oh yeah, read the next one, and then we're gonna put a picture so you can get a visual, so you can see the graphics what they did to us. Read that, that next line. The surviving descendants of Native American tribes live in poverty on federal recognized Indian reservations across the U.S. And we saw that during the, what blitz was that? The New Mexico blitz. Yes, we right, was on the revs. Right. It was, I forgot the name they called it, man, but it, it was, it, like Murder Town, something, man. It was bad out there. They had barbed wires all across. It was sad, man. They, right, right. And that's the norm of the reservation yep. all throughout. Yep. Uh, and when we say North America, we're not just talking about the United States, but in Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of our uh, brothers out there from the tribe of Gad, the so-called right. Native Americans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. same setup, man. It's the same. Just like where we have our ghettos, you see you see Chicago, right. L.A., New York, Philly, b -more. you like, damn, it's the same setup. Better believe that those reservations are the same setup all right. around the world. Right. Let's read on. Almost 100. 100 million indigenous people in the Western Hemisphere have been killed or died prematurely because of the Europeans and their descendants in five centuries. Now watch mm. this. Now watch this. Watch this. So you got 16. Jewish Amalek. Let's do the math. Who went from 500,000 right. to, 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 to incorporating false testimonies throughout the decades mm -hmm. to where they've increased now to 6 million out of, out of, out of, out of, all of a sudden, right? Because when I was young, it wasn't six million. Right. Forty years ago, it was not six million. Right. It was like it was like one or something like yeah. that. So anyway, and you know what they do? You, I've been seeing posts here and there saying, "Oh, uh, fifty million Native Americans." Yeah, they lowering the numbers. Seventy-seven now. Native yep. million. Yep. Native, so what they're doing now is they're demagnifying our struggle. Yep, our Holocaust. You see what I'm saying? Yep. They're trying to diminish what we went through and magnify. Their little, their what? Damn. I'm telling you, the evil runs deep. The rabbit hole runs deep with these, with these demons. All right. It's Why? Real. Because we know it was, it was over 100 million. Right. Way, over, way, over, way over. over. God over. says that Israel is like the sand, sand of the, the sea. sea. Exactly. They and they killed us to the brink of genocide. Yep. Try to use a Jedi mind trick, like uh, Bishop Yawasop always say. Right. Yes. They just say this, just because it's his whiteness, you're supposed to believe. Believe it. There you right. go. Or, yeah. or like Bishop Nathaniel said. When he pulled it in Sirach 13, because he's rich, you got to believe it. Right. Because he's got money, everybody right. listens. Right. Let's wow. finish reading that. Let's read on. Almost 100 million indigenous people in the Western Hemisphere have been killed or died prematurely because of the Europeans and their descendants in five centuries. Now, remember, they, they missed the word on this article. Christian right. Europeans. Yep. Right. Let's not yep. forget that. <laughs> forget right. that. Let's not forget that because a lot of y'all online, y'all go to Christian Sunday school right. every Sunday and you do not keep the Lord's Sabbath. You do not do what the Bible say do. And you're one of the reasons why we were destroyed because of our sin. All right. Keep reading. Yeah, read on. According to David E. Stannard in his book, American Holocaust. We got that book too. We got mm -hmm. it. Read on. It's the right Conquest us, of the New World. Watch this. Read on. Around 12 million indigenous people died within present U.S. Uh, ge geographical boundaries between 1492 and 1900. All right, so let's pull up the pictures real quick. We got, we got a few pictures about this. Let's show that. The Northern Kingdom pictures. It's super sad how they try to downplay right. another person's uh, demise. Atrocities. Right. Yeah, and it's right. not just Atrocities. any person, officer. It's us. Right. Yes, sir. It's mm -hmm. us. They trying to, because you know what I'm saying? Because yes, they, they, they support the, what happened to the Chinese. They support what happened to the Arabs. But right. what happens to us, right. they always got to try to make it like it, it was nothing. Get over it. Get over it. Pick yourself up by your but bootstraps. You right. Right. They say, right? Even give the reparations to all these other people, too. For Oh, no. No, they they hunting down Nazis. Right. They still hunting down the Nazis. Hey, where y'all going to hunt down all the descendants of these slaves? They would have to hunt down themselves. Right. Mm. That's exactly. what Because they're the ones that did it. Exactly. Yep. Go so ahead, we'll Put that on the screen. Jesus. So look look what they're doing, man. This is what happened to our Northern Kingdom brothers. They had a mining for gold, and if they didn't bring back enough gold, they was whipping them. I don't know what it is they doing to the that's brothers. A hot, like that's a dripping, hot brand. Yeah, they, he they dripping, dripping something hot. on side of him. They probably dripping that's, gold on him, something. Jesus, man. No, that's these probably hot summer. iron. Yeah. These, these, these 
Caucasian, Spaniard, Jewish, whatever they was, yep. are some of the most maniacal, yep. nasty, Diabolical, yep. cynical beings on earth, man, to be able to do this to another person. Yeah. Hey, give me that in, in Nahum. Nahum chapter 3, and I think it's verse 1. Because you see, yep. keep that on the screen. You see that they whipping the brother, right? Right. Read that. He trying to, he Nahum trying to, chapter 3 <laughs> and verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Watch this. The, the noise, noise of, of a, a whip. whip. Go ahead, officer. Read it from the top. Read it verse 1 one more time. The book of Nahum chapter 3 and verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. That bloody city is America because America was built off the bloodshed of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. right. Read on. It is all full of lies and robbery. They stole this land. Read. The prey departeth not. Watch this. The noise of a whip. The noise of a what? A whip. Of a what? A whip. That's what you're seeing on the screen. The noise of a whip. Imagine that, man, getting whipped. Uh, a cat of nine tells Christ went through this, man. Our forefathers went through this. Right. That's right. Getting whipped, man. Read. And the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. So that's what we went through, man. The noise of the whip. You seen it in the movies when I, I forgot what I think it's Twelve Years a Slave when he was whipping his sister, mm -hmm. bro. I felt that thing, bro. Yeah, I felt it when her, her the skin just ripped open. When oh man, yeah. and obviously this is that nation of fierce countenance that the Most High uh, uh, warned us about in Deuteronomy twenty eight verse forty nine. This is them. That was a tough thing to watch. Go to the next book over Habakkuk two and twelve. The book Bring of Habakkuk out. chapter two and verse twelve. Bring it out. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. Who did that? Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. With blood. So when you when you funded the slave trade, Jewish, Amalek, Idumi, and Edom, you built America by the blood of the Native Americans, which consist of the Taino Indians, the Bori, the um the Aztec Indians, That's right. the Mayan Indians, mm -hmm. the Incas, That's right. the uh, who else we got? Navajo. The Na yep. Well, the, the Native Mayans, American yep. indigenous Indians, Aztecs. exactly, who are the tribes of Israel. Yep. That's the northern kingdom. Read that again. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood uh -huh. and establish a city by iniquity. Through their crafty counsel, mm -hmm. let's deep magnify and diminish their, their slavery and let's magnify ours now. And let's keep increasing these numbers every decade. Let's keep let's let's sneak on another seven million in this one little article. And because we're rich, because yep. we got money, everybody gonna believe us. Yep. Play that video with Hotway. Let's show them what they went through. Let's show them what our forefathers was going through. The same thing happened to Atahualpa and Hotway. Bishop was bringing it out this last Sabbath. I just want I want I want to play the video. Yes, sir. You was never able to pull it up? Okay, okay. Go to the next picture then. Go to the next picture. My brothers and sisters still working too. They got them still working. Look at this, man. This is some evil stuff, man. Hanging our sisters, hanging the baby. Got right. the dogs eating the baby, man. Right, right. That baby is in half, by the way. Just so everybody can get a yeah. zoom visual, in a little bit more. That yep. baby is split in half. half. So that's not two babies. There you go. No, that's one. That used baby. to be one yeah, baby. Split in half. Damn, that baby is split in half down the middle. Also, Josh, I didn't even peep that. Yeah. The, the baby is split in half. You think God is not going to hold you guilty half. for that? Oh. Hey. And look at, look at the sister hung over there. Yeah. She has her baby also hung by her hip. It looks, it's yeah. being hung by her hip. Her yeah. own baby problem. It almost looks like an uh, umbilical cord. Hey, hey, officer, you Damn. know, this, this goes into the scripture we read earlier in Micah 2. Yeah. Where, where it says, uh, you know, woe unto them that, that uh, practice evil. Yep. And in the morning they, they wake, it's light, they practice it. This is what they did. They went, they went uh, to sleep at night, waking up like, what I'm going to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They come back and they just. And, that, and that dog's chewing on the dead baby. Yeah, yeah. And look at, look, like, at their, look at their garments. Our brothers now wear dresses just like these men. Mm -hmm. Can I get a precept real quick? Wait, hold on. Before you get it, oh, I'm sorry, officer. Go to Deuteronomy 32, 24. Just to put it back on the screen. Put it back on the screen. Read this. Because like officers, we was all bringing out the whole show. This is the fury of the Lord. This is the curses of the Lord, okay? So Real we look at this and we say, damn, it's bad. But we got to remind ourselves this is a result of us not keeping the commandments. That's right. Okay, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 24. Bring it out. They shall be burnt with hunger 
and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. Read on. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them. And that's what you see. He Thank sent the, the teeth of beasts upon us. Our babies cut in half and now the dogs eating us up, man. Damn. Some sad stuff, man. Damn. Read on. The, I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of the serpents of the dust. And that's what we see going on, man. This is, this is some sad stuff. What you got, Officer uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse um, 26. It's going in the same thing, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 26. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all the fowls of the air and unto the beast of the earth. So the, so the Bible said that our carcass, this is one of the curses that happened in Deuteronomy, said that our carcass would be meat unto the beast of the earth. And that's exactly, they feeding their dogs with our children. Mm -hmm. You sick. Right. Read. Right. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all the fowls of the air and unto the beast of the earth. And no man shall fray them away. Ain't nobody like, get, move, move, dog. Nobody saying that. Why? Because they love this. And this was Bible prophecy. Right. Their mind couldn't even fathom this. This is God punishment. Right. And even to this very day, officer, when we get shot down in the streets by the police, nobody frays the, you know, like you said, like the thousand. Nobody cares about us. Our bodies just laying on the ground. They'll just get a, a, a sheet, throw it over our body. Right. To your point, sir, they just killed a rapper. His name was FBG Duck. And they filmed the whole thing. He was laying on the street for like 45 minutes to an hour. Wow. And his mother was watching the whole thing. Right. To be made on Facebook Live. To be made a spectacle. They did the same thing to the brother in uh in Cali where he with the Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Yep. P &B where they recorded it. All people, I'm telling you. Even even that rapper takeoff. Right? Yep. right. He got shot. Yep. Same they thing. Sure did put a Just, picture out. Dang. You know, we, go to the next, go to the next photo because what's happening right now. Is as I'm looking at the at the comment section on YouTube, we have many scoffers that are right now that they wouldn't dare to scoff like this if this class was on Anne Frank or Schindler's List. Mm -hmm. If we were talking about them and magnifying their their uh so-called Holocaust, right? Then they wouldn't be scamming. But because it's our history, right. oh, you guys are lying. Mm -hmm. You got you y'all are anti-Semitic. Right. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're on the comments, you're scoffing. You are the real anti semite you know, You're actually anti-Christ. This is that, this is that shut up and dribble mentality. Shut up and dribble, nigga. This is that Don't, shut up and dribble nigga right. mentality. You understand? That's right. All right, what we got here? Show it to the haters. Put it on the screen for the haters to see. Right. Or you can get out. Here we have your Catholic Christian Pope. What does he have? He has a cross. That's his God. That's his God, the cross. Saying, bow down to this cross or we'll burn you at the stake. And you know what our forefather, Hatwe, the Israelite said? He said, I'd rather go to hell than to be in a heaven with you devils. That's right. That's what he said. He went out like a warrior. I pray to the Most High God that I have that spirit of Stephan, that spirit of a martyr, yep. when that time takes place. Because the bishop is preparing. They've been preparing us. For years. Right. For years. And they've been really up. emphasizing yep. it with these classes lately. Yep. Because they know that it's turning up. We got haters online. Yep. We got haters out there watching us. We got haters stop. within us. Yep. It don't spies stop. and agents thinking that they're going to stop this, but there ain't going to be no stopping this truth. That's right. Ain't no stopping this truth. Hey, you know what it is, officer? It's, it's when we bring out the history of our brothers in the northern kingdom mm. that we get yep. black get haters, Hebrew yep. Israelites yeah, that's, online. That's who it is. Yep, the that's black exactly. Hebrew black Israelites. He yeah, it's black Hebrew Israelites. Wow. I'm trying to say northern kingdom ain't Israel, man. Okay, give me demons. Jeremiah 50 and 33. Let's hey, do bring it. it out. Let's do it. Yep. Give me Jeremiah 50. You got to prove Thank to me that I'm not Israel because Damn, from what I know, when you go, when, when, when you go to New York, Philly, Miami, all these ghettos consist of Puerto Ricans and blacks. Yeah. You telling right. me the so-called Puerto Ricans are not, they don't fit the curses? Come on, they was raped, robbed, and murdered. Their land was taken away. Yep. The they, book they spoke Hebrew right. prior to the uh, to Christopher Columbus arriving there. Facts. Right. So, how, look, so look, how did they learn Hebrew? Why did he bring Hebrew translators? There you go. That, say that again. Why did why did the the conquistadors or Christopher Columbus bring Hebrew translators these, on this side of the earth? Right. These, these are brothers that don't travel, man. You brothers, y'all right. y'all from down south. Yeah. I understand, and maybe y'all got some against the so-called Mexicans. But you go to New York and tell a Puerto Rican, a so-called Puerto Rican brother or Dominican, and you can't say nigga. They're gonna look at you like what? Yeah, exactly. right. Who are you talking to? They don't even speak Spanish out there. They speak English. Right. 
You would think a lot of them are Judah. But these are brothers, once again, that don't go out of their state. They don't travel, so they don't know. All praise. We got, we got that going. But let's read that real quick. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 33. Come on. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. So the children of Israel, the northern kingdom, the children of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Come on. We're oppressed together. Who do you, who do you see in the ghettos together? Right. Mm -hmm. Who do you see? They look different. One got stringy hair and speak another, another language. But when they get pulled over, they get locked up. They get treated just like all right. black brothers. Right. That's right. Who do, you, who do you see buried together in the same cemeteries? Yep. Blacks and Hispanics. You see Rodriguez and uh, Washington over here on the other yeah. side. We both got slave last names. Yep. Right. Also, growing up in Miami, right? When I grew up with, I grew up with Northern Kingdom. So when I see Puerto Ricans, I always thought they was black people that spoke Spanish. I, you couldn't tell the it was like yo they was right. just like us you know what I'm saying right, I thought right. they were just black people that just spoke another language right. spoke right. Spanish but I thought they was black you know they would say you're probably white as well yeah you know what I'm let saying? them like, know what tribe you from tribe of Levi you know what I'm saying known yeah, as the right. so called so called Haitians right yeah so you, you see that but they probably shades, like, yep. they probably thought you was his so called yeah, Hispanic. Hispanic yeah yeah you so, are the seed of your father but a I'll lot of y'all don't have the Lord's education in the scriptures the Lord's wisdom. So you you rely on looks, the out the outward appearance. Right. All right, where are we at? Let's play this video. Federico, Federico, me dice. A ver, ¿quién hará de Jesucristo? Que bautizaré y obtendrás la gloria y la paz en el cielo. De lo contrario, sufrirás un tormento eterno en el infierno. All right, stop. He said, he said, in the name of the Lord, you can still save your life right now. In the name of the Lord, you can save your life. Go ahead, play. Pause. He said, he said, learn the difference between heaven and hell. He looking, he's looking, he's like, yo, what, what are y'all talking about? Go ahead, press play. Because, hold on, stop. Stop, stop, stop. So anyway. So what he has is a Hebrew translator that's letting him know everything that the, that the pedophile Catholic priest is telling him. Mm -hmm. That's why he keeps looking. He's looking at both of them like, go ahead, press play. Lord, Lord baptize you. He's, he's giving them that same Christian garbage that y'all go on Sundays and believe. Right. He's, he's giving, in 2022, he's spitting the same game that they do at your Sunday at your Sunday school Sunday church. Read. I mean, play. He said, "Stop, stop." He said, "If you believe, you won't you won't go to the lake of fire. You won't go to hell." Also, that's a translator to the left, right? That's what I just said. That's yep. a translator, right? Yep. There. So that's and guess what know. he's translating? Hebrew. Come on. <laughs> Stop. He said, he said, are you Christians? Now, when he says Christians, what's he really saying? He's really saying, are you European, Edomite, white uh, people going to mm -hmm. be in heaven? Right. Are, right. are they going to be there? Go ahead. Stop. Stop. That's stop. right. That's right. That's right. What a bomb. That's right. That's right. right. He said, yeah. Double bomb for that thing, man. For real. He said, yeah, he said, yeah, them, they, they gonna be there. He spit on them. He said, hell no, I want no part of your, whatever y'all call heaven. Somebody just cried because he kicked that cross right now. <laughs> <laughs> All Christians praises. online crying right Press now. play. Clip that. He said, okay, well, you going to hell. In silence, he's, he, we're gonna make him an, ex an example for any of y'all that wanna go against Christianity. Mm. Damn. Go ahead, press play. Oh. 
And brother started saying something in Joshua 6. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he started all right. Hey, but that's the warrior mentality right there. That's that never give up, never give in. That's that that's right. 12 tribes worldwide mentality. Dying as martyrs and not and not letting somebody control you. Um that that right there, I'm telling you, that's 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 what it's gonna that's what it's gonna turn to, man, right. in these last days. And officer, just watching that's this coming back. Just watching this, this is something we should aspire to do because we know it's coming. In that book um, from Babylon to Timbuktu, it said our people, the Jews, especially during the Spanish Inquisition, we are accustomed to martyrdom. And you can read that throughout all the scriptures. Just so don't, don't fear death. Right. You know what I'm saying? You need to fear. You know you need to fear. You need to fear the most high God. Yeah. You fear not him which uh, can kill body, but right. him but what? that could kill body, body and soul in hell. That's right. right. That's Meaning right. the most high God, we're not to fear man. Go ahead. Uh, read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 137 and verse 7. Come on. Bring it out. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. These are the children of Edom. A lot of them were, guess what? Jewish. Mm -hmm. We got books. We got classes proving that a lot and a good majority of the Spaniards were Jewish Amalek. Matter of fact, Prince Ferdinand, the ruler of Spain, mm -hmm. was of Jewish ancestry. Mm. Come on. In the day of Jerusalem, Come on. who said... Race it. Race it. Race it means to erase, to destroy. Don't teach them that they're the Jews. Don't teach them that they're the Israelites. Show them that they're African-American, colored, Negro, Afro, uh, Hispanic, Latino, Indians and niggas and spicks and hoes. Teach them that they everything under the sun. Teach them that they're Christians, uh, Muslim, that they're, uh, they can worship anything that they want, but they never better call themselves Israelites. Right. And now that we're doing so, Look at what we have here. We are shaking up the world. Come on. Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. Come on. O daughter of Babylon. They said even to the foundation thereof. They said we got we to gotta try to rip it out through the root, from the root, so that it never rises up again. Right. But they don't understand that they playing checkers with the most high God, and he playing mm -hmm. chess. That's right. Come on. O daughter of Babylon. Who ought to be destroyed. He said, oh, daughter of Babylon. What did he call him first? Remember the children of Edom. Edom. So this right. is talking about you, Amalek. Just right. read Genesis chapter 36. It's talking about you, Esau. You, Edom. Bring it Come out. on. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Who ought to be destroyed. And will be destroyed. That's Come on. Right. Happy shall he be. Happy shall he be. That rewarded thee as thou hast served us. One day we're going we gonna, to we gonna flip the robes right, that's right. under the banner of Jesus Christ. That's when we're going to change the game. That's right. right. Now, Happy shall he be. Come on. That take it and dash it thy little ones that, against the stones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, Are we that, reading the Bible? Yeah. What did you just read? Read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 137 and verse 9. Come on. Happy shall he be. Come on. That take it and dash it thy little ones against the stones. Mm. That wow. Like when the last time right. your pastor read that in yeah. church? That's music right there, officer. When the last time they passed the plate and they play, and, and they read that scripture right. in your church? Play right. that song. They not reading the Bible in there. Right. Hey, officer. It says uh, in verse 8, right, rewarded thee as thou hast served us. You ever, you ever heard that saying, you're going to get your just rewards? Put the camera on, officer Kelly. Hold That's on, hold the, on. Put the camera on Officer Kilai, man. Uh, Boy, sleep back. All praise. <laughs> all praise. Go ahead, Officer Kilai. Hey, as I was saying, out. in verse 8, it says, Rewarded thee as thou hast served us. That's where they get that saying from, you're going to get your just rewards. Ooh, That's the reward we wait. want. We don't want, uh, uh, what's that? Reparations. Reparations. Yeah, we don't want reparations. Money ain't, money's not going to get us, you know, uh, going to heal us from this. Right. Hey, heal our people from can't this. Get a we want just rewards. Can I get a precept, sure. Officer? Let me get that. Psalm 30, uh, 37, verse 28. Dang. Mm -hmm. Psalms 37, mm -hmm. verse 28. Good point, Officer. Awesome. Let's get that. Because <laughs> the Most High not going to let y'all go. You understand? You will get your just reward. The Let's book of Psalms, chapter 37, and verse 28. Yeah. Bring it out. For the Lord loveth judgment. The what? The Lord loveth judgment. The Most High God loves judgment. You understand? He is a just God. Come on. And forsaketh not his saints. He forsaketh who? Not his saints. The Most High is going to remember, Edom, what you done done to us. Amalek, he's going to remember what you did to us and what you're still doing today. You will not go unpunished. Come on. They are preserved forever. They are what? They are preserved forever. Yes, sir. All the judgments concerning you, Amalek, Edom, 
in this Bible are going to come to pass. You understand? And we will get the kingdom of heaven in the end. You understand? The most right. high is playing chess. And you're not even on the board yet. Right. So lead it. Check me for That's real. Right. What you got, officer? But you want me to finish? Oh. Yeah, now I was just gonna pull um the because y'all going in right now. Uh for real. Revelations 18:24. Because all of this, like what you brought out in Psalms, what you just brought out, officer, what well, all y'all brought out is because of this right here. The book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 24. And in her was found the blood of the prophets. In her, that's America, Babylon the Great, Esau, Edom. In her was found the blood of the prophets. Read on. And of, and of saints. And of who? And of saints. Read on. And of all that were slain upon the earth. So that's why the Most High going to give you that just reward because of the blood of the prophets and the saints. Right. The Most High God has not forgotten about that, man. You will get what you deserve, Esau, for real. That's right. Get Daniel chapter uh, 11. Y'all, you had some, officer? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'll wait. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So this is, we, we ain't conventional Negroes. This is actually what's in the Bible. This, this is righteousness. This is justice. Right. Uh, Psalms chapter 149 and verse 1. Because Bring this might out. sound strange. My favorite song. But this is beautiful. All of the, all of the payback is beautiful. That's right. You said 149? Yes, sir. Verse 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 149 and verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. One more time from the top. Praise ye the Lord. Say it again. Praise ye the Lord. Read. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Today you are watching the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans sing a new song. We are not happy with the things that happened to us. Right. We come in with what, what God told us to do. We're going to dash them children against the song just Woo! to hit the Lord. That's right. We're going to get vengeance in righteousness. Right. We singing a new song. We ain't getting walked over no more. We standing up. Yeah, bring Jump it down. down, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey read, 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 read verse, verse six. Nine, verse six. Yeah, go to verse six, man. Crazy. Verse you got to read this song. Let the, most high, let the most high praises of God be in thy mouth and a two-edged sword in thy hand. Read on. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. To do what? To execute vengeance upon the heathen. Read. And punishments upon the people. Read on. To bind their kings. To with bind their kings. Their come, kings on. come on. And their nobles. And with their nobles. Read. Earn. To execute upon them the judgment written in his honor. Have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Praise That's ye the right. Lord, That's man. Right. That's right. So Praise the Lord that, for that remember day, Remember that man. picture that we saw earlier with one of our fathers where they had the yoke of iron and he was holding mm -hmm. it? That's going to be Trizzy Trump. Right. That's going to be your boy, Joe <laughs> Joey Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joey Biden. Joey yeah. Biden. Awesome. They're gonna be rocking them Joe things. Joe's gonna be face down with that. They're gonna be rocking them things when Christ returns. They're gonna be bowing down. Get Revelations 2 and 9 for yes, Amalek. Sir. Revelations 2 and 9. Let's read, let's go through these quick. We're about to close out. The book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. I know thy works and tribulation. Uh-huh. And poverty, but thou art rich. Talking about us, the real Jews. Come on. And I know the blasphemy of them. Which say they are Jews. Which go, which are spewing those lies. Come and on. And are not. The Jewish are not the Jews. Come That's on. Right. But are the synagogue of Satan. So you, you from the Semitic race, you're from the synagogue of Satan still. Right. Even though you're Semitic, God says you're the synagogue of Satan. Go to Daniel 11 and 12. The 11 of, and 14. Daniel 11 and 14. Let's hurry up. The book of Daniel, chapter 11 and verse 14. Bring it out. And in those times, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. They're going to stand against Israel. Come on. Also, the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision. The vision that they established was to destroy our heritage and our identity right. so that they can proclaim and profess to be the Jews. That was the vision that was established through their crafty council. And, they, and they're called robbers of your people. Right. Woe to him that rob and establish a city by blood. Right. So who did that? The European. European Christian. Christian, Christian thank you. Yes, Caucasian. Right. Right. Read. But they shall fall. But they shall what? They shall fall. So these counterfeit, convert, Jewish, Esau, Idumean, Edomites will fall. Right. Thus saith the Lord. Go to Daniel 7 and verse, uh, what's that? Take the kingdom. Verse. verse 27. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 27. Bring it out. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven Come on. shall be given 
to the people of the saints of the Most High. Come on. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. It's an everlasting covenant. That was the thing. We understand that there were covenants made in the book of Genesis, right. but they were temporary covenants. Right. There was an everlasting covenant, an everlasting birthright that there's a battle for. Mm -hmm. But that everlasting birthright belongs to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That That's we right. would rule in the last days forever, and right. that would not change. Right. All right, read verse 18. Verse 18, the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. They shall do what? Take the the kingdom. We are going to take the kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Read. We're not asking. And possess the kingdom forever. Come on. Even forever and ever. Forever. Even forever. Forever. Even forever. Forever and ever. ever. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Oh, praise forever man. ever. Forever really? ever. Forever, ever. Taking the kingdom, man. That tastes good. All praise. Yeah, yeah that, 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 felt, that felt good. Hell that felt yeah. Good. All praise. Hey, we got to end it on a good note, y'all. Yeah, we yeah. definitely got to end it. That's right. So right. all praises, all glory to the Most High God. Do not let them, Israel, watch it. Do not let them diminish or try to uh, downplay. Down, try to downplay what our forefathers and our foremothers went through because it was all a biblical example for us to learn from. When right. you downplay our history, you downplay the Bible. We ain't That's doing right. that. Right. We're going to magnify the scriptures. That's and right. everything that happened to us was so that we could learn to come back to the black Messiah and keep the commandments of God. That's right. All, All right. Pray so, for Israel, subscribe to the channel if you want. Right. right. Okay. Grab your mama phone, grab your daddy phone, your Ooh. uncle, your auntie, your right. grandma, your whoever. Everybody. That's right. Grab their phone. Subscribe to That's IUIC right. Austin. Show love, Israel. IUIC Austin. Okay. Also, uh, donate to the Booster Club. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Matthew213.com. Don't forget about them, Israel. Make sure you send arms to Matthew213.com. What you got, officer? Hey, we want to give a shout out to the tech team. Y'all brothers right. came clutch. Right. Shout officer out to Jonathan. Back there. Uh, Soldier Jonah back there. Soldier, Soldier right. Jonah holding it down. Soldier Zeal. Soldier Zeal back there. Soldier Zeal in the building. That's right. Soldier Zeal, man. Praise. Thank you for your brothers coming through. Uh, kitchen team for the tea. That's right. Uh, that's what right. else we got? Who else? Oh, shout out uh, uh, to the bishops, the deacons, the captains, our leadership, that's right. man. That's, that's in the right. forefront, leading by that's, example. That's okay? right. They're not uh, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the back seat, in the high places, just chilling. No, they right. in the battlefield with us. Right, right up front. Right up front right with up front. us. So we're going to ride to the They're not hiding front. from nobody. Nope. They they're not hiding. shy. Nope. they right. They're like, yeah, what's up? Let's, let's, let's get debate. it. This yeah. is what? Show that's, press that again. Yeah. This is war. This is war, y'all. It's a spiritual battle, y'all. Shout out to all you warriors, all you gladiators out there, man. Just keep fighting. And Men of Valor Brothers yep. holding it down, building yourselves up. That's keep right. Continue. Stay in the fight. Yep. Stay faithful. Stay loyal, y'all. It's going right? to get worse. So right. Endure. Pray for us. Pray for your leadership. Make sure you're fasting. Uh, and what else we got? That's about it. Well, well with that, I'm Officer Halez. Officer Razzis. Officer Joshua. Officer Kelia. Officer Zakor. And we make up WCO! With that, we say shalom, Mr. Shalom.